This is the homework help video for problem 53 out of chapter 33. This problem asks you to use the biot savart law to find the magnetic field strength at the center of the semicircle of this wire bent into a semicircle shape with current I and the semicircle as a radius big R. The first step is to write down the biot savart law. B equals mu naught I over 4 pi delta x cross R hat over r squared. And first we'll deal with the delta x cross r. So instead of delta x in this problem, because it's a circular shape, we can have a ds, a delta s. And because arc length equals radius times angle, ds will equal radius d theta. So ds equals big R d theta because R is constant, but theta will not be because we're going to be integrating over this half of the semicircle. And the delta x cross R will become ds cross R, cross R hat, sorry. And we know that uh, ds cross r hat or dx cross r hat is the same as ds sine theta where theta is the angle between uh, the r hat and the current which in this case because this is a, a semicircle r hat will always be pointing perpendicular to current, the current because the current will be tangent to the semicircle so this just ends up becoming ds sine 90, which is ds, because sine 90 is 1. And the r squared in this will become big R squared, and the rest is just constants. So we can write it as, we're going to integrate, so we're going to write db equals mu naught i over 4 pi r squared integrated from 0 to pi, and the reason it's from 0 to pi is because if this is a on a coordinate system, x and y, then over here will be 0 radians and here will be pi radians. We're doing, we want to do the whole thing. So that's ds, which equals mu naught i over 4 pi r squared 0 to pi r d theta. Integrate with respect to theta, that's pretty simple. You'll get mu naught i times r, the constant, over 4 pi r squared times pi minus 0. The pi's cancel out, this top r and the r squared cancel out. So you get that the strength of the magnetic field is mu naught i over 4r. And although this problem only asks you for the strength, it would be possible to find the direction if you use the right hand rule with your thumb pointing in the direction of the current and wrapped your fingers towards r hat, you would get that the uh, magnetic field goes into the page. So if this is y, x, and positive k, then it'd be a negative k uh, hat magnetic field. But this is the only thing you need to do for this problem is the ma magnitude of the magnetic field.